Hello everyone, welcome to uh, EMWorks webinar on uh, electric fuse design inside EMS. Uh, my name is Mike and today I'll, I'm going to be talking to you how to use uh, EMWorks uh, electromagnetic uh, solvers in, uh, in coupling with our thermal solution to get, uh, uh, to get accurate uh, fuse characteristics. Our agenda for today uh, uh, consists of, uh, of identifying important fuse characteristics. We, 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 we want to start by, by uh, establishing what is that uh, fuse designers uh, uh, want, want to know about their fuse. What are the characteristics they, they absolutely need to be able to, uh, to quantify the performance of, uh, uh, of fuse. We're going to show you how to set up an EMS study uh, for, for fuse analysis. And finally, how uh, the results of this study can be used to, to plot fuse characteristics. We will wrap up this uh, webinar by a question and answer session. Uh, as we all know, fuse uh, is uh, an electric component whose role is to break an electric circuit uh, and protect the, uh, the the equipment and appliances in that circuit from the from the overcurrent. Uh, so once the uh, the current in the in the fuse exceeds certain value, the temperature in it rises sufficiently to actually melt the the fuse uh, metal and uh, break the circuit. So it is very important to know what it, how quickly does the fuse fuse react to different currents because uh, some of the equipment can be more or less sensitive to the uh, to the uh, amount of time they can withstand the short circuit current some some of the uh, some of the uh, some of the sensitive electronics equipment cannot stand more than a few milliseconds of short circuit current while on the other hand uh, uh, some heating elements or uh, or electrical machines they actually uh, can withstand uh, uh, short circuit currents a uh, few times the nominal value for uh, uh, for long periods of time without no harm so you definitely want to know based upon the uh, the applications you have in mind for your fuse you you definitely need to know how how quickly the fuse is going to react for different currents Another, another characteristics we, we want to look at it, we want to look at is the temperature uh, derating of the fuse. It depends on the, on the, on the ambient uh, and the ambient temperature. So if, uh, if the ambient temperature is uh, extremely low, uh, the current that uh, the current uh, value that would otherwise break the fuse very quickly, can actually take uh, up to 50% or even twice the time that it would take on the on a normal ambient temperature. On the other hand, if the ambient temperature is uh, is very high, the 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 time fuse takes to break will be much short. So this is uh, these are some of the these are maybe two more most important characteristics we can uh, we can obtain uh, in in EMS. So to do that, let us go to, to SOLIDWORKS and look at the fuse model we have here. It is a blade type fuse, uh, which, uh, which is commonly used in the automotive uh, industry. Uh, to simulate the fuse, let us go to the EMS tab, uh, right click at the, at the part and let, let's define the study. Uh, as you can see, uh, EMS comes with the different types of study. Uh, the one we are going to be looking at today is electric conduction study, which has uh, which has ability to compute the voltage drop across the fuse, which can uh, compute the current distribution inside the fuse uh, and the, res uh, the actual resistance of the of the fuse. Uh, uh, let me briefly tell you about the other uh, st study types EMS. Uh, uh, has um, magnetostatic study allows you to compute uh, magnetic field density, uh, magnetic field uh, distribution, 
uh, and associated results such as energies, torques, forces, uh, inductance matrices. You can do similar. You can get similar results in the AC magnetic and transient magnetic studies. However, uh, those results will be in uh, in different domains. Uh, AC magnetic operates in the frequency domain, while transient magnetic allows you to compute the uh, the, the results in the time domain. Uh, electrostatic study is a type of study that uh, allows you to compute uh, electric field distribution and it's very useful for computing dielectric breakdowns. Uh, uh, in, uh, it's widely used in, uh, in uh, bushing design or uh, uh, power insulator design, in, in any application where you, where you re really want to know what's the electric field intensity. And finally, we have AC electric study, which uh, allows you to compute uh, currents induced by the changing electric field. But let's get back to electric conduction study. Let's select that and couple it to thermal. We want to see how does the temperature change in time in the fuse. So we're going to select transient. Uh, for, the uh, for the study period, we're going to have 500 seconds and the time step we can have uh, 50 seconds to really to really see how, uh, how what's the temperature fuse reaches in the in the in the in the long run. Uh, for the rest, we're going to keep the default. Uh, for the material of the fuse part, we're going to use commonly used fuse material aluminum. So to be able to get the fuse resistance. Let us define uh, what is called in EMS as resistance set between the fuse entry port and exit port. So now we can clearly see uh, which way the, does the does the current go through the fuse. It enters here, goes through this bridge, and 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 uh, exits on the other side. So now that we now that we have defined the, the resistance set, let us define. Let us actually push some current through this fuse. To do this, we're gonna we're gonna add a voltage drop across the fuse. We're gonna keep the the exit port at zero volts by adding the fixed voltage boundary condition. But we're gonna add the fixed voltage uh, of 0 0.1 volt at the entry side of the fuse. Uh, fuse usually have a low voltage drop, uh, about a fraction of a volt is, is commonly seen, and this is what we are going to apply at this fuse. So now that we have uh, established the resistance and the voltage drop across the fuse, uh, we basically made sure that there will be some current going through the fuse. This current is going to produce some heating in the fuse. To, uh, to be able to compute the, the actual temperature rise, we need to establish the thermal interaction between the fuse and the surrounding air. To do this, we're going to define convection between the faces of the fuse and the ambient. Uh, so to do this, we're going to select all the, uh, all the faces of this part. Uh, in the in the part selection box, we're going to select the fuse and then right click on the part in the in this in this box and select extract faces. This is going to make sure that all the faces of this part are included in this in this box. Uh, for the convection uh, coefficient, we're going to keep the default value, and for the ambient temperature, we're going to we're going to set it to uh, 40 degrees Celsius, which is 314 uh, Kelvin. Uh, it's important that you enter here the temperature of the ambient, not the room temperature, uh, because the, the temperature of the air right next to the fuse can be very different uh, from the uh, from the room temperature. It can it is usually higher, and uh, uh, it depends on the on the surrounding equipment on uh, circuits elements that, uh, that surround the fuse and uh, how much they they are how much heat they are producing so 
with this, we can now define mesh. Uh, since we know that current is uh, is entering and uh, is entering the fuse here and uh, it exits the fuse at the other end, we we can kind of expect that the highest um, uh, current density will be in this region at uh, in the middle of the of the fuse bridge, but as well uh, around these mounting holes here so we're gonna make sure that we apply higher uh, that we apply finer mesh in these regions by selecting these faces uh, and applying finer mesh element size about quarter of a millimeter would do in 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 these areas uh, for the rest of the mesh, we're going to keep the default values, and this is this is the the final mesh we're going to use for this study. So now we can just right click and hit uh, run. After a couple of seconds, we should see we should see the results. So first, let's go to results table and look at the resistance. Resistance is about 1.2 uh, million. Uh, dissipated power is about 9.6 watt. So for this uh, for this resistance and uh, knowing the voltage drop uh, on the fuse, uh, this tells us that we have about 82 amps of current going through the fuse. Uh, Let's take a look at the current density. As expected, uh, it is highest at uh, this, this central area of the fuse bridge. Maybe we can plot as well the, the vector plus, so that it becomes easier for you to see the direction of, uh, of current flow. And as we have predicted, it does reach the highest values here in these uh, in these regions uh, about uh, about the mounting holes uh, at the center of the bridge and uh, and that uh, curvature of uh, of the bridge. So at the end, let's uh, let us finally have a look at the at the temperature distribution. Let us go here into edit definition and. Uh, select different time steps to see how does the temperature arise in the in the fuse. We can also plot temperature distribution, temperature rise actually at one at one point of, uh, on the fuse. Let us select, for example, this point right here, and select plot all time steps. And there you can see how does this temperature first rises in that point and then reaches certain value. Uh, since we know that, uh, that the melting temperature of the aluminum is about 930 uh, Celsius, actually 930 uh, Kelvin, uh, we can see that this temperature is actually uh, reached for this, for this 82 amps current. Uh, after about uh, after about 100 seconds, uh, so we can we can definitely conclude that uh, 82 amps of current will will melt this fuse and uh, and uh, break the break the circuit. Uh, so, if we plot few of these uh, of these plots uh, for different currents. We can see how actually it, uh, how much time does it actually take for each current to to melt the fuse, and uh, the higher the current, the less time it will take to reach this 930 uh, degrees point, and the less time it will take to to melt the fuse, and this, this will uh, allow us to plot this. Uh, these uh, fuse current time characteristics 
uh, and if you if you ha uh, on, on the left you can see you can see uh, uh, time characteristics of a commercial blade fuse. Uh, the EMS result we have obtained for this fuse uh, closely resembles these characteristics. It, 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 ha it definitely has similar trend, uh, and uh, it, uh, it kind of allow uh, you know allows us to conclude that uh, the TMS uh, is giving is giving some re reliable and uh, the results that that actually match industry industry uh, standard uh, for uh, for fuse design so now let us look at the temperature derating if we if we plot the the temperature rise uh, curve for a few different for a few different ambient temperatures but for the same current we'll again see that the lower the temperature is the more time it takes actually to to reach this nine to reach this uh, melting temperature of the aluminum uh, which is very important to know based upon the the ambient in which uh, the fuse is going going to operate as we have seen uh, uh, results obtained uh, from ems uh, electric conduction study uh, together with thermal analysis allowed us to compute some of the important parameters for a fuse design. We have been able to, to compute resistance of the fuse. We have been able to uh, compute melt time for different current values, as well as uh, the melt time for different ambient temperatures. Uh, this, these are the results uh, fuse designers absolutely need, and uh, EMS is definitely capable of uh, of uh, providing those results and uh, being uh, a competitive fuse design software. So, uh, I would like to thank you for your uh, for your attention. Uh, please uh, go to our website uh, to have a look at uh, some more examples uh, of. Uh, of, EM, uh, of EMS uh, applications. You can get more video examples on our YouTube channel. Uh, please contact sales uh, at sales at emworks.com or call us at uh, this number to, to get more information on how you can uh, get access to, to our software. Uh, before we go to question and answer session, let me briefly tell you about some, some more uh, packages EMWorks has. Uh, in addition to, to different study types uh, I, I talked to you about, we have uh, an, an thermal coupling. We also have some more coupling studies, such as uh, motion coupling, which is ideal for the design of electrical machines, uh, actuators, uh, structural coupling for structural analysis, and parameterization uh, studies, which allow you to, to compute results for uh, for a set of uh, pre, uh, for a predefined set of uh, values we also have a high frequency uh, package called hf works uh, with uh, which allows you to design many different microwave antenna uh, radio frequency systems so i would like to thank you for your attention uh, uh, we'll, we'll we'll see you next time